Hey everybody, Kusmos here with episode 39 of Last Dream. Now, just a quick note, I found Midgard. I guess I just overlooked it when I first was going through the map. Uh, just to give you a quick show of where it is. Uh, it is right here. Uh, you'll see it on the left of the screen. It's the western continent, the, well, the of the two larger western continents, the northern one, at the very northern tip, you can see the uh, icon showing where we are. I've uh, been here before, actually. Whoops. Alright, now we can run. So, before we can speak to the king, anything new? Nothing much of interest here. Nor here. I don't think this is a shop, is it? That's an inn. Item shop. Okay. Up the stairs, hopefully to find the king around here somewhere. Aha. Nice. This guy looks shady. The king has revealed to me your mission on behalf of the Dorian Crown. I never believed the ultimate crystal shards actually existed. If you've collected the shards, perhaps you'll be able to find the elven airship. Oh yeah. Welcome, travelers. You may have heard the Midgard is on the brink of war with Pandora. It's a difficult decision for me. Midgard has a proud history as a military power, but war is never something to race into. It is my belief that a direct assault against the Pandoran army would be a mistake. The true equal is the new ruler of the Pandoran Empire, General Thanatos. The warrior in me is shamed with a planned assassination. But that is what I believe must be done. I have had the castle scientist researching our options, and it has, become, it has come to my attention that the elves of old may have created a flying machine which would be perfect for this operation. I have heard of your renown from the King of Doria. I would like to make a request of you. Please acquire the elven flying machine and return to me so we may stop the Pandoran conquest. We believe the airship may be located in the Alexandrian desert. Unfortunately, a powerful sandstorm prevents entry into the desert. We ought to find a way to mitigate the sandstorm. Well, we've got that. Just need to find our way to Alexandria now. I can't... whoops. Kind of feel that a trip here just to be told to go where I already knew I was supposed to go. Kind of feels kind of a waste of time. Alright, now Pandora's there. Alexandria. I don't know where the Alexandrian Desert is. Alexandrian Outpost. That's not where we want to go. Didn't I find... Was Alexandria on the northern continent? That's Asgard. Doors on the same continent as that. Right? Yeah. Didn't I? Oh, I found the place I'm supposed to go once. I just can't quite recall where it is. Oh, I also found a puzzle master. Gave me a few rings in exchange for all the puzzles I've done. But it looks like... okay. We've got to find a desert. Maybe the Alexandrian Desert is just that... yeah, that looks reasonable. Now let's go ahead and hop on a bird. Uh, running is this way. And we'll dive. Unfortunately, I was starting to talk about something before the last episode ended, and, uh... I've managed to completely forget what it was, so I apologize for that. Uh, here's the place we came up to get the puzzle. Uh, didn't really seem that significant. 
Uh, it was a nice treasure, of course, but really nothing of story interest. Oh, can I go too far? No, okay. So from here, I just have to head north, I guess. I thought I should be there by now. Yep, I missed it. Well, for a second, when I first speed up, it looks like I'm going backwards. Yes, I'm quickly and easily amused. Perhaps oddly amused is more accurate. So I'm guessing... Probably... Let's see, there's a dock by Asgard, right? I think I head up this river, and there we go. So... I think... Yeah. Let us do a quick camp in a sleeping bag. And then what does the sign say? Alexandrian Desert. Beware quicksand. Party is blinded by the sandstorm. What is that? Oh, freaking really? That is just ridiculous. Maybe if I stay on the path, I won't get attacked. I have a feeling that's not the case. Oh, that's just bloody annoying. Let's tunnel over. Do I want to go down? I don't know, maybe. Should I unblind or? Please tell me I can just run. Yes, yes, I can. All right. So up. Am I still in the? What will happen if I? Let's give somebody eye drops. Okay, let's just tunnel over. Take a step. Okay, I seem to be staying... Not blind, so that should be a good thing. Dragon Helm. That sounds nice. And just a crystal spear. That's... That raises my... No, not worth it. Dragon Helm. Helm made from highly resistant scales of Dragon Helm. Boost my defense and match defense. We'll take that. Actually, can anybody else wear the helm? Yes, they can. Oh, wait. I thought... Oh, yeah. I wanted to keep the shield knife for the boost defense. Ah, oh, there's a mining crack whatever it's called. More chests. At least this one's not empty. Full potion. That would be very nice. Rope. Uh, I don't actually want to climb back up. So am I blind again? Yes, I am. I don't want to go... Let's go right. This feels just so slow. I really don't want to fight anything. Not while I'm out and blind. Okay, so that needs back up in the middle. I want to get... Uh, running's not very fast either. It's a little faster, but... Yeah, I probably need some treasure there. Oh well. Might even need some of that crystal gear. Let's see where this tunnel goes. Uh, that should look quicker. I'm guessing... That... 
if I go off the path. If I'm lucky, I'll just be transported back to where I came from. If I'm not, I'll be transported back to the beginning. Whoops. Well, let's at least unblind so maybe I can fight a little bit. Okay, so... I don't know what they're capable of. So, let's go ahead... Sure, why not? Um, ba -ba -ba. Start mugging things. We'll mug what we can. Okay, they don't hit very hard. How's that? Ooh, minus int. And silence. Well, we'll want to unsilence Kuzma's. Everybody else can just go hang. Oh, there we go. That. Wow. Let's just macro one them. They should get out without a problem, right? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, according to the SP they give at least, there's another crack. They're not as hard as what was in the swamp. Really? I guess the idea is that, you know, not every time, you know, you're not guaranteed. Ooh, Dragon Hat. I think we'll give that to Sid. Oh yeah, that's probably worth it. Alright, back up and blinded again. Okay, I think I saw... Ah, no! Huh, okay, so... Wait, what? Where am I? What? Just run. Oh, freaking really? That is just a bloody pain. Alright, slow walk for us, I guess. This is just kind of annoying. Okay, hurry through that. Let's go ahead and get this chest. We might be here a while. Oop. Almost went too far there. Yep, that was not worth the trouble. Like, it's been so long since I've bought anything, I... I don't even know where I can buy... Like, can I buy crystal equipment somewhere? Surely I can. It would seem ridiculous if you can't. I mean, yeah, that makes the stuff I find more worthwhile, but... It's just... You know, I've got enough of an issue with people having underleveled stuff. I don't, I don't really need any further help in that matter. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, the left goes somewhere. Hopefully... Ugh. Hopefully that's somewhere good. More importantly, that's hopefully where we're supposed to be going. Oh, that's a big skeleton. Looks kind of draconic. Please don't be amazed. Oop, almost went too far. Uh, what do you say? Hurricane Force wins ahead. Alright, so... Really? Ah! So, I've got to keep moving. I want to take the wider path. Ah, come on. So that when I get pushed down, I have room. 
I don't get pushed into the quicksand. Come on. Almost there. Oh, frick. No. Oh, boy. Can I? Nope. Okay, come on. Oh, boy. This is going to be a long, slow process. Oops. That could have been bad. Okay, to the, I wonder, I really hope that I don't have to go through this skinny section. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have a feeling, though, that this just loops back around. Nope. Please be where I'm supposed to be going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try the skinny section one more time. Now, is there, like, a pattern to this? Ugh. Wait till we're pushed. Now, up. Over, up. No! Okay. Can we speed run this? Uh, nope. Not like that, we can't. There's actually a... Uh, oh, jeez. We may not get very far in this episode. Oh, guys. Is there... Like... I much pref I've seen games have this, you know, wind mechanic go down before, but usually the trick to those is you have, come on, you know, occasional something to block the wind that you just have to time things right to get behind. And this, as you can see, it's just a matter of perseverance. Switch, we're pushed. All right. Push, run, up, 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 come on. Come on. Almost. Almost. Oh, here's an uh, unpleasant looking section. Okay, so we'll wait till we get... Okay, wait here till we get pushed. And up. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's got skinny sections that are kind of shortcuts. But you're presumably. Well. I guess if you're confident enough. Like, is there a way to not be pushed that I'm not seeing? I don't, well, obviously I'm not seeing it, I don't see it. Come on. Oh, this better be for more than just a freaking treasure chest. I think... I think this is a bloody puzzle. Silence ring, how about a ring for not being pushed by the wind? Ogre ring, I think I have one of those already. And an illusion. What do those illusion rings do? I have quite a few. There it is. Hmm. Int plus 30. Wow. What is Sid wearing? Is it death tax? A oh, room ring. Let's get that on. Okay, well, so apparently this is a puzzle. 
Uh, do I want to go to the left, maybe? Oh, that looks good. There's a cave there. Well, no. Medium cottage. And a dragon robe. Which it will almost certainly get. Robe. Wow. Plus defense, plus MP, and magic defense. I'll take that. I mean, the treasure's bloody nice. But... I hate having to go so bloody slow. Especially since... I'm taken back to the beginning if I slip up. That is just not a pleasant mechanic. Right, let's jump down. Just gonna run from this fight. I, I would like to actually, uh, well. This could be unpleasant. Uh. One more time? Uh-oh. So, is anyone not blind? No. Everyone's blind. What can we do? Will... No. Alright, what do we got here? I guess everybody's just gonna have to eye drop himself. That is just kind of a pain, and I'm going to run out of these things soon. If I run out of these uh, before I exit this place, I am going to be in some serious trouble. Uh, so I get. I'm assuming there's a main area after this. Uh, I'm not really sure. But we're gonna go all on on these fellas. Uh, let's see. Attack all and attack all. I really don't want to mess around with these guys. So pretty much everybody at Coos is going to do an attack all. He's going to attack three of them. Oh. Um, and we'll debate finish them off. Yes, it will. Okay. Yeah, I'm also missing out on any loot they drop. Dragon boots. Those will go to Coos. Uh, shoes. Dragon boots. Oh, yeah. And actually... Can Sid wear those crystal shoes? Yes, it can. Just defense, a bit of agility, and some pre. That could be useful. Alright, back up we go. So I came from the north. I'm going to go back this way. Oh, so very slowly. Oh, don't tell me, I just... Uh, I chose wrong. In case anyone was uncertain, left takes me back to where I already was. Ah! Uh, no. Ah. <sighs> Just leave me alone. I would love to have my chocobo in here. What? That's, yeah, that, never mind, that's word. And that's the right place. I just had actually been a while since I was there, so I kind of forgot. So, slowly creeping along again.
I I don't know. I like this game, but sometimes it kind of feels like the developers just you know read about the concept of Nintendo hard and just left it at that. The like old school RPGs were bloody difficult but this is things like this th this is not hard it's monotonous there's no it's not really so much of a skill factor to it like yeah I know there's theoretically this game was partially built to speed run but a lot of that just comes from having certain special techniques and practicing a lot. And yeah, you can consider that a skill, but it's a very dedicated skill. You know, you're not going to develop that skill outside of the game. It's for practicing particularly what the game wants you to do. Okay. So... We're going to eye drop everybody one more time. And save right here. And hopefully... What is that thing even? Who goes there? You may not pass. I was commanded to guard this area against tr intruders by my master. Yes, let's fight the guardian. Is your guardian emerged? Oh, it's a tiger-like thing. That's cool. All right. So let us genius first. Debuff hamstring or slow. Hamstring drops attack. That drops accuracy. Let's hamstring. Uh, behind enemy lines. And fortify. Alright, this water attack doesn't do too bad damage. But, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm too worried about this guy dropping Koos in one hit. And as long as he can't do that, I should be fine. Hamstring. Let's go ahead and slow him too. Can you do anything else? Right, let's mug him now. Fortified. Let's drop an intense study. Alright, he seems to use all water attacks. Wind ring. Oh, another magical beast with Lots of rings, I suppose. Well, okay, I'm just assuming he has a lot of rings just because I got one. I suppose we'll see. I don't... let's see, weaken? I'm not sure. Flow and Metascan. Mugging. And let's censor. Um... Yep, a lot of rings. I think this should do most of my debuffs. And he put Koos to sleep, the jerk. That means Koos didn't... What was Koos supposed to do? I frankly don't know. Let's just hit him. Uh... We don't need to wake Koos up. He'll wake up himself, right? Ice ring. I'm guessing provides resistance to ice damage. That would certainly make sense. And yes, weaken. Yeah, she was attacking. He's mugging, and he's magically imbuing. I wonder how many rings he actually has. 
Okay. If he lives, I'm really curious to see the next attack by Koos. Or to see the next series of attacks. He's actually going to start recovering from debuffs, and mine are going to start fading. Ooh, Temptation Song, please. Oh. Freak. Well, at least nobody can hit Goose. And did that wake Sid up? No, it did not. Well, we should backstab him. 530 damage? Not bad. Okay, well, Sid is... Okay, good. Goose is awake now. And everybody's unconfused. So will these things last? Let us hit with everything we've got. Gotta keep on mugging now. I'm gonna get as many of these rings as possible. Now, Sid is just messed up back there. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Well, okay, not quite, but it'll certainly be a significant part of the direction there. I would really appreciate it if Sid could wake up. Oh, nothing to steal. I guess if he survives... Oh yeah, we're, we've lost pretty much all our debuffs. So let's just focus on the main things. Uh, let's see. Let's keep backstabbing. Uh, you may... Oh! You may have heard some noises in the background. It's rather cold today. So, unlike usual, I've had to leave my heater at least partially on. I usually turn it down just so it doesn't create all kinds of background noise for the video, but to be quite honest, I would rather not freeze myself for the sake of videos. Oh man, this guy is tough as can be. So, you know, if you're curious as to what that was, and, well, I usually try to edit any kind of odd sounds like that out but it is it's not always possible if I said something at the time then well a little hard to separate it from my voice but there we go master I'm sorry watch cutscene I suppose so after you defeat the Desert Guardian, you are struck by a vision of the past. It's 70, uh, 23 years before present day. A small village near, near Pandora. Also, quick note. Sorry that... Furnace likes to cut on and off several times before it finally decides it's actually going to stay on for a bit. And it's mainly when it comes on that uh, the noise will be heard. So, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, in a small village near, near Pandora, over the passing of another generation, Gabriel's obsession with immortality became increasingly warped by his repeated passage through the portal. While he continued to believe only he was passing through the cosmos, something else indeed was passing with him, and it was poisoning his mind. Gabriel began to view the mass murder of Terran life as, a simply, as simply a tool toward creating portals open longer and longer. He is now posing as a young general in the Pandoran army. Our informants have reported this village is home to spies for the kingdom of Asgard. Do not be fooled by their practiced innocent innocence. Every one of those villages is a criminal out to bring about the destruction of Pandora. What are orders, sir? Gather the spies from their home and bring them to the center of the village. We will make an example of these traitors. Yes, sir. Soldiers, you heard the general. Don't 
try to escape, soldiers or traitors. Oops. But what are we accused of? Spying against the Emperor of Pandora. Now move. Keep rounding up the villagers. Come on, get out of there! D don't hurt me! I haven't done anything. I've heard it all before. Walk. Lieutenant Hannibal, keep up the good work. Start the executions in approximately one hour. Yes, sir! Moments later, Gabriel has finally mastered the art of teleportation after 350 years of dark arts study. With so many people sacrificed, the portal should remain open for several hours. I've always noticed I seem to come to these cutscenes at the end of episodes. Hopefully, I can learn more about this alien world on this passage to the portal. Back in the village of Lucidia. Sir, we're having a bit of trouble with a couple of villagers. Must I do everything myself? Of course, tends to want to make my episodes pu push a little bit too long. Keep walking! Ajax, help me! Arg! Wow. Soldiers, get that bastard! Restrain that man! Come with me! No! Bring that man closer! Punish your resistance. Your wife will be the first to die. No! He's out cold. Should I finish him? No. It will make much more of an impression to let him live with the grief of his wife's murder. Soldiers, slaughter the rest of these traitors. Back at the Well of Souls after the massacre. Excellent. Hannibal sacrificed his souls. Hopefully, I will have enough time to learn more about this alien world on this passage through the portal. Gabriel already said that. Goodness. Minutes later on the alien world. Strange how the portal always seems to transform me to a different region of this world. Hey, buddy, nice costume. Costume? What do you mean? Well, it's a Halloween costume, isn't it? Halloween? I'm sorry. I'm not native to this area. Could you please tell me the name of this village? Very funny. Why else would you be dressed up like that? Anyway, this is a suburb of Portland. Sorry, but I have to run. The village of Portland is quite large and quite technologically advanced. I need to do more reconnaissance. A map would be most helpful. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm lost. Would you happen to have a map of the village of Portland? Village of Portland? I never heard a call it a village before. Sure, just hold on one moment and I'll get my atlas. Here you go. You're dressed really strangely. Going to a costume party? Yes, that is correct. A costume party. Thank you for this book of maps. 
Excellent. This appears to be the map of this alien world. Earth, it says. Thank you very much. You've been most helpful. You're very welcome. I should explore more of Portland. Oh, crying out loud. An hour later on the beach. I think we'll win best costume for sure this year. I still think we would have had a better chance if we had a gray wizard. Ha. Huh. Perhaps, but these costumes are much better than what we had last year. This world is even more similar to terror than I had thought. Elves, wolves, and even orcs coexist on this world. Apparently, the elves avoided the extinction event that took place on Terra. It is getting late. I should return to Terra before the portal closes. Back of elf souls are traveling to Earth. Earth. Now I think the name of this... Now I know the name of this parallel world to Terra. Why are they linked? Even the Veneer and their near-infinite wisdom didn't know who built this golden pyramid. It appears that the longer that I spend on this Earth, the longer duration of the time reversal that is created by the portal. Based on this connection, I should stage a massive war culminating in a bloody battle that will gain me hundreds or even thousands of years in time reversal. Only with that amount of time can I possibly learn the secrets to true immortality. It appears that the portal creation is actually destroying the souls of those sacrificed. Entire villages have disappeared when I returned from Earth. There is a finite opportunity for me. I will seize it. All right, that took way longer. Oh, well, guys, I was hoping to get this this episode. I was probably just grabbing it, but I am way over my time for this episode. So we'll be back next episode next week. Grab our airship and find out what we're supposed to do next. Till then, guys. Catch you later.